and welcome back to Crazy Dove Studio. This is a short video introducing you to how to check the compatibility of Networker with any of the other components that it integrates with. For this, we have a neat little tool from EMC, which is a web-based tool and can be reached with the URL elabnavigator.emc.com. And the link to this is in the description, so you can pick the, uh, pick the link from there. So once you log in, you will be on this landing page, wherein you can go to the respective product that you need. Again, this is available for all the product that uh, EMC supports. So you have the uh, uh, DPA, the PPDM, uh, the data protection suite, and also other uh, products there. So let's go ahead and quickly look at what Networker looks like. So once you click on Networker, it is going to open up the version available. And these are all the different uh, components of Networker. So here you have all components, meaning that if you click on any one of these links, you will be receiving a document with compatibility for all the components that Networker supports. But if in case you're looking for anything specific and do not want an entire list, then you can go ahead and click on any one of the other uh, links that will give you the information for that component alone. So. I'll just go ahead and click on the all list. So uh, let me go for 19.4 and this as you can see will download a PDF file. The good thing about this is that the index has hyperlinks to the different uh, sections of the document and the document is pretty big as you see it is 70 pages long. Now if you want to for example check the compatibility of your networker server and client you can directly go ahead and click on Networker Client here. And this will give you the version and operating system that uh, your clients will be compatible with. So as you can see, the ne uh, uh, Networker 19.4 is compatible with uh, Server 2008. And also there are all these other uh, operating systems that uh, Networker is compatible or the client is compatible with. And if you go all the way to the bottom you will also have uh, there would be some special considerations so if you have anything marked in the block where you are looking for your particular application or software and if there are any additional uh, numbers come down and look at those numbers and see what exactly the conditional uh, statements are thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video I hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.